Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Caruso and I want to take a few minutes of your time to talk about skin cancer and skin cancer screening examinations. We hope to limit this to about five minutes and we really appreciate your time. Skin cancer is becoming an increasingly common problem. About 20% of the United States population at some time in their lives will develop a skin cancer. If we then select out a certain group of patients, and these are people who are fair skinned and are over age 65, and the likelihood, if you fit into this category, and some of you who are listening to our talk may fit into this category, the likelihood of you developing a skin cancer is about 50%. If we then add in that you might have spent some time during your life outdoors a lot, playing golf, gardening, swimming or have an occupational exposure, or that you were born and raised in Florida, have lived in Florida for many years, this number in some cases goes up as high as 70%. Now I want to add another very interesting thing in as well. Patients who have skin cancer, including those who have facial skin cancer, more often than not do not know that they have it and the diagnosis is made by a dermatologist. And in fact, 60% of skin cancers are diagnosed by the dermatologist, not by the patient. So obviously, we believe it's really important if you're above a certain age to have yourself checked for skin cancer. Now, I want to put this in a perspective for you. Let's say if I asked you, uh, what's the standard test for diagnosing breast cancer? I think you'd probably all say to me, it's a mammography. Okay. If I said, what's the standard test for diagnosing colon cancer, most of you would say, I think it's something called a colonoscopy, and that, by the way, is an extremely valuable diagnostic test. Likewise, prostate cancer can be diagnosed with a blood test. Well, skin cancer is far and away much more common than any of these other types of skin cancer, and yet if I asked you the same question, what is the standard test for diagnosing skin cancer, very frequently when I put this question to our audience or, or patients, no one seems to know the exact answer. Of course, the answer is a comprehensive skin cancer screening exam. And what we mean by that is that the, the dermatologist is actually specifically looking at your skin solely to see whether or not you have skin cancer. Okay. The problem is that this test is not recognized by our insurance system. So if you were to say, gee, I heard Dr. Caruso speak, and I think it's a great idea to be checked for skin cancer, unfortunately, it's something you're going to have to pay for yourself. Obviously, this situation should not exist, and at least in our practice, we then provide this very valuable diagnostic test without charge. You'd simply make an appointment, tell us you want to have a skin cancer screening exam done, and either myself or my physician assistant, Leslie, performs these examinations. They take about five minutes and are of very high value to you. If we do find something and you have a dermatologist, we're more than happy to provide you with our records and a black and white photo of this suspicious area and ask you to see your dermatologist. If you would like, we're able to perform the biopsy the day that we see you if something suspicious is found. So what I've hoped I've done is to awaken your interest in the fact that skin cancer is really common and there's an important diagnostic test that should be done if you're at high risk. Why should it be done? Because if you have a skin cancer, there's a high likelihood it's going to be on your face. If you do have this, it's awfully uh, easier to treat it when it's quite small and the scar will be invisible than to deal with something which you finally notice yourself and it's achieved significant size. If you'd like to avail yourself of this, or if you want to know some more about it, please call our office, 634 one four five five seven eight two two one six five. Our appointment clerk will be happy to set up a time, either for a buffet which we provide, and that during the buffet I answer a whole lot of questions you may have about skin cancer and skin cancer screening examinations, or to set up a time for an exam directly. Again, thank you very much for your time, and we hope we'll be seeing you in the very near future.